What's up guys, Zergrizz here, I'm bringing you guys a live com on a new game I've been playing, Doom. And I've got a lot of history with this game, I really enjoy it, especially right now, because Call of Duty, to me, is just, I'm just getting really burnt out on, on Black Ops 3. I played it since it came out, and I really needed something different to kind of take me out of my slump, I guess, and Doom did that for me, I really enjoy this game. So I thought, you know, what the hell, I'll do... A special on it for a week and I'm gonna call it the week of doom or the wad and I'm just gonna take the first commentary here I'm gonna record this uh, explain a little bit about the game to you guys and I'm gonna upload it on my personal channel as well as a team channel just to give you guys a little bit of insight as to what's all in this game uh, if you feel the need to take a break from COD until you know the new COD comes out or maybe just something on off days where your shots just really shit and you want something else to do so this is this is doom this is the multiplayer main screen and I want to show you guys a little bit of cool stuff that they did with this game before I jump into an actual game. So, in this game, it's not like Call of Duty. You don't have perk. You have uh, hack modules. So, you have awareness, boosts, and wall hacks. And these are pretty useful throughout the game. Uh, you can actually set it up where you can see there where you can auto-select, where you don't have to mess with it. It automatically does it. But there's certain ones I really can't stand, like alarm, when you're close to nearby enemies and it makes this loud ringing noise. It's just annoying. Uh, vital Signs is really good though, especially if you're going to be sniping. Uh, infinite Ammo, if your shot is trash. Uh, <laughs> uh, blast Shield, uh, Armor Plating, uh, I think Reinforce, yeah. Um, so if you're not doing so well, you know there are some that kind of help you out. Power Seeker is huge, for those of you who don't know. Power Seeker is something that pops up on the map. Uh, there's quite a few of them. There's Regen Health, uh, Invisibility, where you're completely invisible. Um, there's quad damage and uh, what we call fast feet. Um, just makes you move really fast, your weapon charge quick. It's like uh, sleight of hand, I guess would be a, a good way to put it. So you get four of them. Those are basically, like I said, your perks. Uh, customization in this game is pretty cool. You can change your helmet, torso, arms, legs. And there's uh, quite a few to choose from and different... Uh, different things to choose from as far as the way you appear. Now the, there's a, a plus and a negative to this. One of the pluses is the fact that it adds some variety when you go into the game. The negative side is that once you're in the game, your character doesn't uh, look this way in the sense of color and lights and stuff like that. Uh, all, your, all the characters are actually like just solid blue, but they still like look the same as far as your armor and the way your head looks and all that good stuff. So. Uh, there's that, uh, there's all kinds of different things you can do as far as customization with your character, metallics, uh, glossy matte finishes, primary, secondary colors, you can change the light that's on your character, you can add different patterns, um, just wherever you want. Uh, so there, a lot of customization, this is really cool, and it's the same thing with weapons, if you go in you want to modify your guns, uh, you can change the different colors, the patterns, all that good stuff to different sectors of the gun. So I like the fact that they put in a lot of customization as far as weapons and stuff like that. Uh, you've got the taunts, which are just crazy. You thought that Black Ops 3 was bad. There are a lot of them. So <laughs> anything you can think of, I think they put in this game as far as taunts. And the cool thing about this game is that you can actually taunt mid-game, which I actually have a clip with a quad feed vortex where they're actually all taunting which was kinda stupid but kinda funny but I threw it in because I had a bunch of quad feed vortexes so it's not like I need to prove it but uh, it's it's fun to do in game and it still holds a kill feed so if you get you know a quad feed with whatever weapons you can taunt mid game and it'll still show the quad feed as you're doing your taunt mid game so and it zooms out third person and shows you doing it so um, that's some of the customization uh, when it comes to weapons, I'll go through this real quick. There are no primary and secondary weapons. Everything is basically a primary. So you can't double up on like Vortex sniper rifles. You can't have two of them. But all these things are considered primary and secondary. So there's quite a few different weapons to choose from. They've already announced that they're going to be putting out new weapons. So that's pretty cool. And again, uh, you know, you can modify these weapons however you want. Uh, when it comes to equipment, usually I just rock the frag grenade, but there's a teleporter you throw and you can teleport across the map. A uh, Tesla rocket that just shocks the shit out of people as it goes by. Siphon grenade's pretty cool. Drains and rejuvenates your health at the same time. The wall is just really annoying, but it is funny to fuck with other people. Threat sensor is cool for seeing people through walls. And the hologram 
Uh, you actually see this in one of my clips where I shoot at him, but then I pick up a quad feed times two with no quad damage. So uh, that's what we have right now, and that's just kind of like the introduction to the game and like the things that are in it. So I'm just going to jump into, or try to jump into a match here just real quick. I haven't even played yet. Uh, as you can see on the right-hand side, I am max prestige, so I am a prestige 10 level 50. Um, that is the highest it goes. There is no 55s, no prestige master. It just hits 10, 50, and you're done. Uh, what's cool about this is it's not an option. It makes you prestige, so but you don't lose anything. You don't lose any weapon attachments, obviously, because there is none. So, I don't know. I, I thought it was a pretty cool idea that it makes you, but you don't lose anything. Constantly unlocking new paint, uh, new... Uh, designs and stuff for your weapons, so there's a lot of versatility there in that aspect. The only thing that I don't like about this game is the fact that you can only get a quad feed. I mean, you can roll it as many times as you want, but as far as it goes, in general, you can only get a quad feed. So I'm just going to start out here with the Vortex Rifle Combat Shotgun Frag Grenade that I set up, and here's your four different demons. Uh, these pop up periodically through the map, and I will go with Revenant just because it's the easiest one to use. And we're off. The game's semi just started right there. That's the Revenant. He's going to pick that up. And there is no rejuvenating health in this game. This is your... What is this? That's your health. And over here, what I just picked up, that's any uh, ammo that you want to pick up. Green is going to be the um, armor, which I just dropped right there. Every time you kill somebody, you get a little extra armor because, again, there is no rejuvenating health. Oh, this is the one-shot. This is the only weapon in the game that's a one-shot anywhere other than maybe the BFG. Uh, this one's pretty cool. When you scope in, you can see people coming through walls, which is pretty handy. If you want to go for a nice little feed here, let's see. Well, there's two, three, four, and I think I may have hit a quad feed there. I'm not sure. Oh, you got a guy on it. All right, let's see. We'll pick this guy off the top. Sniper rifles at a full charge. Right now you're seeing that uh, the little circle that's winding up, that's basically a charge on my sniper rifle. You have to hit an enemy in the head with a full charge in order for it to be a one-shot kill, unless their armor is all the way drained down. So that's one thing to look out for. Uh, if, if you're playing this game, try to make sure you've got a full charge on your sniper rifle and you get a headshot. That's very critical. This guy's invisible, like one of the perks I was telling you about. I cannot see him. So, yep, he just meleeed me with a final kill. That's another cool thing about this game. If you're in a gun battle with anything and they start to glow yellow, you can just melee them, and you'll do kind of a cool little finishing move. They can kill you, however, so you gotta be you gotta be careful that you don't uh, just sit there and keep dicking off. And I'm playing this with no sound, so it's really hard for me to play. But I don't think we're gonna be able to come back and win this. But I'm gonna see what I can do here. Because there is so much health, it's kind of like Halo in the aspect that there's a lot of armor and a lot of health. So most time you won't even get a kill with a frag grenade. You just use that to kind of soften them up a little bit. And then take them out with whatever guns you have available. So I am actually playing like shit right now. This comm I want to do live it's just so I can kind of explain things as I'm walking around. Um, however, when it comes to the rest of the comms that I'm going to be doing... Those are actually going to be pre-recorded, so they won't be quite as bad as far as, like, KD goes and stuff like that. They're actually really, really good. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. There's one. Come on. Come on. You don't want to lose the one shot. It sucks if you do. Come on, baby. Boom! thing is you don't, you want to try and stack everything in this game like I said it's a quad feed that's like the best you can do so you know if you can roll up a quad feed a couple times that's really really nice it's contested and this game mode obviously is kind of like uh, like hard point I guess would be a good one to, good one to compare it to and what I've got on right now is the uh, oh, I was gonna try and finish him and melee him, show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. Snap that fucker's neck. Uh, the power up that I just picked up right there was the regen health. And. Oh shit. I know I'm getting low. There we go. Pick up some health, roll back. This little fucker's invisible. Yep, he got me. 
Um, that was rejuvenating health, so it just rejuvenates really slow. And back earlier when I told you guys the hack modules, this is the one that tells me when the one shot's coming back in. So 48 seconds. Uh, this was the regen health. It's 80 seconds. So there's all kinds of little things in here that will help you out as far as those hack modules go. Again, they're not quite like perks, but they are at the same time. Damn, rockets, bro. Harsh. Ah, I don't even know what level these guys are. Look at that. I'm still, I'm still up top. I'm still in first place. It's presentable. My teammates are usually complete ass. Of course, that doesn't really change from game to game, but... See, I don't think I can take this guy. Come on, Oh, he was flashing yellow, man. Score limit reached. But, yeah, there's, um... There's a lot of cool things about this game. I thought you guys would enjoy just a quick gameplay. I didn't expect for it to go that quick. Uh, I want to explain a little bit more about the weapons and stuff, but you guys get the general idea. Um, again, this is, like, the first video that I'm putting up again on the team channel as well as my personal channel. Uh... The other five videos following will be all high KD, where I'm actually going through explaining a little bit more about the game. And it won't be live comms, so I don't have to worry about trying to concentrate and play, because I've already kicked the shit out of everybody. Uh, and then I'm going to end it everything with a nice little montage that's edited by Gravy, which is one of the new players of Team Lycan. And I hope you guys enjoyed this comm. And 21 kills, man. It didn't even feel like I did that well, but yeah. <laughs> Again, when your team sucks, that's what you have. Uh, last thing I wanted to show you guys before, uh, I did want to show you guys the game modes. Uh, Team Deathmatch, Soul Harvest, which is kind of like uh, Kill Confirmed. Domination, which isn't too great in this game, because everybody just tries to capture the flags and there's no fighting, really. Warpath, which is what I was just playing, which is kind of King of the Hill. Freeze Tag, I haven't played much of. You got uh, Arena and some combo game modes. Uh, they are, like I said, going to be adding in some new stuff to this game. They are going to be adding in a new shotgun, some new maps, and all that stuff, and it's going to be free coming out this summer. So today's the first day of summer. I hope you guys had a great Father's Day and hope you guys enjoyed this content. That's it. I'm out. Deuces.